As a part of a continual process of research and development, McLaren personnel are frequently at work in the wind tunnel at the nearby National Physical Laboratories. Five days a week, 52 weeks a year and more if necessary, McLaren tests with a scale model that's an exact replica of the MP411 in the never-ending quest for motor racing's holy grail, more downforce and less drag. Chief aerodynamicist Henry Durand is concerned here with airflow over the cockpit sides. The wind tunnel system is powered by huge fans that produce a measurable airflow which is fed into a chamber with much smaller dimensions, accelerating the flow to around 180 kilometers an hour by the time it reaches the car. The floors are moving rubber belt which travels at the same speed as the airflow, allowing technicians to simulate racetrack conditions as accurately as possible. This wind tunnel is uh, fairly sophisticated and uh, is uh, has a high concentration of technology. Uh, it does reproduce the conditions in which the car is running on the racetrack. It does uh, have a moving ground, which is enabling us to reproduce exactly the ground effect phenomenon.